morning past my neighbor's apartment, just trying to be really quiet. Um, I just want to see. Oh, cool. Um, the tornadoes that struck our area not too long ago, they completely tore apart um, the staircase on the other side of the building. We have two sets of stairs. And uh, it got torn apart, and it's been like that for like two weeks. But now, ta-da, we have new stairs, and it's still roped off, but yeah, they were doing that this morning, so I'm going to stop this right here because my, peop my neighbor's windows are open, and this is weird. Ta-da! Gross, look at this. That's been there for two weeks because people aren't smart enough to realize that if it's not it's not in the dumpster, it's not going to get picked up. That really pisses me off because there's one at the other dumpster too. So yeah, I'm outside today again. It's, not, it's actually not really hot at all. Um, it's actually kind of chilly. It's been raining really, really bad for the last couple days. Um, Actually, no, yesterday it was pretty warm. I've had the last two days off. Well, yesterday and today. Then I go back to work tomorrow, and I have another day off. So, just thought I'd vlog again from outside. It's really overcast and yucky, but, um, that's okay. I need to go for a little walk. Hey, we better flash. Um, whew, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah, so, I've been playing my mage. She's level 40. I just hit level 40. I just finished all of the Anderhall quests in, jeez, in the Western Plaguelands. Um, they were really, really fun. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm actually really happy about all the new quests for, that the Horde get with Silver Pine and Hillsbrand. Just everything. It's been... It's been really nice. So, that's that. Yeah, I went and got my epic writing before I logged off. I haven't been playing any of my characters. I haven't been doing my, my fishing, cooking, jewel crafting, any dailies. Um, oh, but I thought it was kind of cool. I never noticed this before because, like I said, I, never, I didn't level anyone from level 1 in Cataclysm. But, um, that you can do fishing and cooking dailies at low levels in like the Thunder City and I'm assuming in you know the other major cities too so I thought that was kind of cool I did uh I did one the other day on my mage and it was nice gathering little slime bubbles it was really cute um so that's cool because uh I'm actually doing something on my mage that I never really do on any of my alts and that's leveling my secondary professions I mean I always level my <laughs> my primaries because I'm an auction house whore, so I always make sure to do that. But like fishing, cooking, um, even first aid, I sometimes don't max out, but I'm doing it on my mage because I want to and it's fun. Okay. Um, so yeah, my dream, uh, I was at Target, you know, working. I don't know where I want to walk. I'm going to go back this way. So yeah, I was just working at Target and um, I'm really hoping the wind isn't bothering my camera. I'm going to just hang out in here and not let my camera be all windified. Oh, you want to see something really pretty? Look at that. Oh, it doesn't show up very well. Oh, that's the sun setting. It's much prettier from my angle because it's really red and gorgeous, but <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm working at Target. I'm walking around and, um, this older couple came up to me and they had a wheelbarrow and inside the wheelbarrow were two I don't even know what you call them two um, cooking pans well one of them was a cooking pan and it looked ancient I mean it was corroded and just really bad condition and the other one was like a, a really big meatloaf pan but it was really long and adjustable so um yeah, they came in and wheeled the wheelbarrow up to me and asked me if they could get... Oh, gross, look what I just... Look at this. Really? Really? I'm not going to touch that. I don't even know if that's really... 
That's expensive peanut butter too. Fucking people. Okay, so, so, um, okay. So, they came up to me with the wheelbarrow and all the stuff that was in it and um, asked me if they could get a rain check, which basically means that if you, if there's an item that's on the floor, what are these people doing? Hold on. But yeah, if there's an item that's on the floor, um, and we are out of it, we can put up a rain check, which basically, I don't really know what it does. Um, it prints, print out a piece of paper and you can come in and they can scan it and check and see if we have the item in or not. Um, so yeah, a lot of people get those. And so these people asked for a rain check, but they wanted it for the two items that they were bringing in. And they, like I said, they were really old. And so I asked them when they got the items and they told me that they were like from 40 years ago, but they got them at a Target. And I was like, okay, well, ah, the wind. I was like, if you got them 40 years ago, there's a good chance that Target doesn't sell them anymore. And um, they got really mad at me. But like, I brought them over to one of the registers and I don't really know what I was doing because it's not something that's actually possible. But I was looking something up on the register like as if it were a real computer. And uh, while I was doing this, it's really, really windy. Uh, while I was doing this, um, a bunch of people got into my lane, into my check lane, and uh, I told them, I was like, hey guys, you know, my lane's not open, I'm just looking something up for these guests really quick, and one of my GSTLs uh, came over and turned my lane light on, and I tried to tell her that I wasn't cashiering, and, um, sorry, there's a guy over there, and he's putting stuff into, I, I live next door to these garages where you can store stuff, and he's putting whole bunch of guitars <laughs> into one of the things and it's really weird he was looking at me um but anyway uh the people who were in my lane I told them that I wasn't actually cashiering and they got really mad and they started throwing their their items at me and there was this one woman with blue hair and she was yelling at me and calling me a retard and just it was crazy, like, I'm not going to go into detail, but it just kept going on and on, and my light would mysteriously turn itself on, and so people kept flooding to my lane, and I would turn it off, and they would yell at me, and it just went on and on and on, and finally, the guests that I was helping look for the stuff decided they didn't want it any, anymore anyway, and so they just left, Oof. and uh, that's that, I think it's going to rain. In my shoe. So, yeah, it was it was really frustrating though. I used to dream blog a lot because I have really, really, um, really vivid, realistic dreams. Oh, my arm hurts. But yeah, really, really <laughs> vivid, realistic dreams, and um, because of that, they they can uh, they can really get to me, you know. Um, I don't know how many of you have really, really realistic dreams, like things that could happen. Like, it's not even a monster chasing you, because that's, that's unrealistic. I don't really believe in monsters. But just things with real people, real scenarios, real places that could happen. <laughs> Gross furniture again. Um, you know, those really get to me, and I've been having them a lot lately with stress at work and stress with people. It, uh... It shakes me, you know? It's kind of scary. So yeah, that's that for my dream.